stop, wait. Do not book that plane ticket and please hold off on that Airbnb reservation. If you are relocating to a new city, one of the first things you might wanna do is get here and start exploring and figure things out once you arrive. But let me tell you, that could actually be a huge waste of not only your time, but your money. When you know that you are gonna be moving to a different area, and I don't mean across the street to another neighborhood, I mean across the state, maybe even across the country or the world, the internet is your friend. So make sure that you're using it. And as fun as it is to go look up restaurants and neighborhoods and shops of the area that you're moving to, one of the first things you should do is find a local realtor. Because a local realtor who truly knows their area is going to be your best resource. They know about schools, they know about neighborhoods, they know restaurants, they know where to take your car to the mechanic, they know the best place to get a taco. And quite frankly, if they can't answer those questions, maybe they're not as much of a local resource as they say. And the real key, if you are not local, is to start conversations with this agent early and create a plan. So let me tell you, I have a lot of people from all over the country and the world who are coming to our Gainesville area and finding me and wanting me to be their agent, which is so cool. But I keep seeing a similar thing happening over and over and over again, which is that people show up here and then they call me, which I think is a huge mistake. Do not visit without planning ahead and here's why. As tempting as it may be to buy a ticket, hop in the car and just show up, if you have no idea where to stay, who to talk to, it can be a massive waste of your time and money. Think of it this way. Would you walk into your dentist's office today and tell them that you needed a cleaning in the next hour? You wouldn't. You'd book it out in advance and they would make sure that they block time off of the calendar to give you the best level of service. If instead you just walked in off the street and were given the next available appointment, I'd venture to say that either you're not gonna get a super great cleaning or you're gonna end up with the assistant who's got a very open schedule because they're not very good. I often get people asking me about moving to this area and I can tell you, the ones who I chat with ahead of time have a much better experience. Not only can I recommend hotels or Airbnbs, restaurants, places to visit and shop, but I can also block off my schedule so I have time set aside to show them around and show them properties. I get calls several times a month from people who have seen my videos, who are moving to Gainesville, and they really want me to be their realtor, which is so fantastic. But the common thread I'm starting to notice is that they're literally sitting in Gainesville and that's the first time they've talked to me. And I have to assume that if that's happening to me, that's gotta be happening to other agents around the area. And I think it's just because buyers don't necessarily know that advance notice is gonna make their experience so much more valuable. And buying a home is a much longer process and it's so much more involved than just going and seeing houses. So if all you're looking for is an agent who can just be your door opener, I would say you're missing out on a lot of the useful information and help that a great agent can provide. For example, a local agent is gonna be able to let you know based on your work commute or the kind of schools you want for your family, the best areas for you to look. They're gonna know the best vendors to recommend when you need inspections or you need a plumber. They're gonna have the best lenders. Finding an agent that really knows their stuff, even though their schedule may be a little bit harder to tap into, is gonna be worth waiting for. Whereas if you just call an agent and they're magically free for the next three days, to me, that's a red flag because they're free for a reason. Bottom line, don't spring a visit on your agent. Give them the opportunity to have some advance notice so that they can prepare your visit and make sure it's worth your time and money. Another thing that you wanna consider is your timeline. If you know your start date for work, if you have the ability to purchase your next home before you sell your other one, that's gonna be a different set of circumstances than somebody who is looking to move here in the next eight to 12 months. If you have specifics or a shorter time frame, you're gonna to need to get with your agent right away to come up with a specific game plan so that the moving truck can be in the driveway when you need it. If you're doing your research on an area more than six months in advance and you plan to do a visit, that's gonna be a very different visit than if you've gotta be in a house in the next 30 to 60 days. 
So if you've got a longer time frame, you may plan to visit more than once. So again, before you buy your plane ticket or hop in a car, come up with a plan with your agent. If you're searching way out in advance, your first visit may just be more about the general area, restaurants, schools, shops, things to do, recreation. You're not gonna spend as much of your time looking at a bunch of houses because in six months, those houses aren't gonna be available anyway. If, on the other hand, you've got a tight timeline, you just found out that your job is being transferred, you've got 60 days to be in your new place. Your visit is going to be very condensed, meaning, yes, you can check out restaurants, schools, and shops, but you're gonna try to pack in a lot of viewings of houses, which is why it's of the utmost importance to plan ahead with your agent so they can put it all together and make sure they have time blocked off on their calendar. Because having a strategy is key. This is one of the largest purchases you may ever make. So don't just leave caution to the wind and show up without a plan. Having a plan is gonna put the right person in your pathway and make sure you are happy with this major purchase. Moving is one of the biggest stressors in life, followed by getting married, having kids, changing jobs, and buying a house. When you're moving to a new city, you're probably lumping several of those stressors together. So do yourself a favor. Reduce that stress by coming up with a plan and use a local expert to do it. And please give them as much notice as possible because the more notice that you can give us, the more time and money we can save you. And maybe you're tackling some of life's stressors like moving, changing jobs, and buying a house, but you haven't yet tackled getting married or having kids. So if you're gonna buy some property and you haven't done those things yet, what's the best way to go about it? I'm Lindsay Johnson, your resource for all things real estate. See you next time.